Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope everybody is uh, doing A-OK. -okay. Um, so this is going to be a review of the Laura Lee Los Angeles um, Cat's Pajamas palette. This is the fake palette, this is not the real one. Um, I paid £6.99p for this on eBay um, and it got to me within I think about a week. Um, or maybe a little bit less, I'm not too sure. Um, okay, so to begin with, obviously um, we have got Laura Lee's logo and this lovely pink rose um, colour cardboard. Um, this d is not raised, but this is raised, if that makes sense. It's like this was put underneath and then this on the top because there's a little bump here, but it's not this that's the raised thing if that makes sense. And then at the front, as you can see, it just says Cat's Pajamas Eyeshadow Palette, um, and it tells you um, how much is in here. So you've got 10 lots of 1.4 grams, or if you like to say it as 0.05 ounces is each shadow, and it's 10 times that. Okay, on the back, again, we have the lovely rose packaging. Um, where it just says Laura Lee, and I think that says, yep, Los Angeles. This here is all of the shade names. This is the ingredients, the barcode, cruelty free, and it says 12 months. Um, obviously, because this is a fake palette, I don't know how much of that is true, but yes, there we go. So let's just slide this baby out. So, as you can see, glitter, glitter, glitter. This does not rub off on your hands. The dye doesn't come off, nor the glitter, which is great. I think um, the first thing that you can see that sort of shows up that this is a fake palette is the fact that the Laura Lee is extremely faded, as you can see. Down here, it says Cat's Pajamas. On the back, it is just glitter galore. Um, but let me see it's not actually showing up now I can't even see it but there are a couple of like sort of dirt scratches if that makes sense on the back here and I highly doubt that would happen to the real palette so if we open her up here we go let me just make sure I do not blind everybody these are the shadows that you get you get 10 shadows um, this is obviously the mirror with the rose um, uh, thing over the top. And again, like this does feel a little bit cheap. Not so much the mirror, but the fact that this is almost not stuck down properly, if that makes sense. Or you can literally tell that it's a sticker. So, yes. Okay, and shade um, shadow wires, we have Okie Dokie, we have Scatterbrain. Bomb Diggity, Cray Cray, Redonculus, then we have Erky, Kooky, In One Ear, Out The Other and Oddball. So, swatches, let's get into the swatches. Okay, so, let's put this here. Okay, so the first shade is Okie Dokie. The second shade is Scatterbrain. Third shade is Bomb Diggity. And the fourth shade is Cray Cray. Oh, I did one <laughs> I did one swatch over the top of another there. Sorry about that. Um, and then the last shade is Redonculus. As you can see, there is some fallout here. <laughs> oh, this is um, <laughs> liquid highlighter. I will rub that off at a moment. Um, Okie dokie, this is a shimmer. Okie dokie was a matte. Scatterbrain was a shimmer. Uh, Bomb diggity and cray cray are also mattes. Um, and yeah, Redonculus is a shimmer shade. I'm just trying to get the bloody liquid highlighter off my hand. Doesn't want to play ball. Okay, so next. Okay, so this shade here is called Erky. This shade is called Kooky. And this shade is called In One Ear. 
look at those swatches they are oh my goodness i don't want to put eyeshadow on me they are absolutely gorgeous really pigmented just they are very impressive i'm uh, extremely happy with those okay so and then the last two shades are we have out the other and then we have oddball the thing that I do like about um, Oddball is you can tell that Oddball is not like in your face pigmented. It's it's more of a subtle um, shade. And I don't believe that it is like that in Laura's palette. I think that it's quite a pigmented um, a pigmented black, like very well pigmented, etc. Um, but I actually quite like it when the shadows are not like pop them on and then bang in your face like there straight away unless it's like a shimmer that you put sort of on your eyelid because um i've got a very shaky hand my ex-partner he broke my hand when i was holding my baby um and um like he broke some bones and messed up some nerves and stuff so it's um extremely hard to steady my hand sometimes and i don't want to go like that and then go Ooh. And it'd be everywhere. Sorry, stop story. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to get straight on to doing my eyes. So if you keep hearing me sniffing, I've got a little bit of a cold. Which is not very nice. Okay, my eyeballs, where is this? Okay, so the first shade that I'm going to go into is this one here, which is Bomb Diggity. No, sorry, this one here, which is the pale, nice pale matte shade. I'm just going to pick that up and I'm just going to put it all over my eye. That is beautiful. I can hear my daughter. Her dad's in the uh, bedroom with her so that I can film in the front room. And uh, <laughs> they're singing away. Okay, so, so far, loving this shade. It's just, let me tuck that behind my ear. I, don't, I hope you can see. I don't know if it's too, too bright, these lights. Let me just take one away quickly. There we go. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm just going to take a little bit of um, Bomb Diggity, and I'm just going to put a little bit of it underneath my eye. Just so that when I put some under eye shadow on, it will come out nicely. I have already got mascara and eyeliner on because because I've got, um, I think they're called hooded eyes. Um, when I do my shadow, literally the whole of my lid just disappears. So I like to put my mascara and my eyeliner on now first. And I've noticed that I could do my shadow better with it like that. So... Daisy. There we go. Right, I turned one of the lights off because it was just too bright and you couldn't see much. So, right. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with Cray Cray, which is this. This is another matte shade. So I'm just going to pick that up on my brush and I'm just going to use it as my transition shade. And I know my eyebrows are a mess, guys, but if I haven't said it already, due to my panic attacks, I've not been going out. So there we go, there we go. It's buildable, this, which is something I definitely look for in an eyeshadow. These are going on beautifully. For some reason it's going on the other eye a bit more opaque 
you can see that it's picking up a lot of product. Oh, get my stupid hair out of my way. Mm. Oh, this is, I really, let me see. Let's see, it's way too dark without it, but I really do hope it's showing off on camera. It's absolutely beautiful. I already recommend this palette, even if just for the two shades. Okay, so that is that. Next, um, oh my god, there's a cat on my windowsill. <laughs> Cat's pajamas, cat on my windowsill. Lovely. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with this shade here, which is Kooky. I'm just gonna pick that up on my brush. Okay, so that's picked up okay. And I'm just gonna put this on the outer corner and in my crease. Again, it's a lovely color. On the other side. Ah, stupid hair. I want to know, what's your guys' opinion on the whole fake makeup thing? Are you guys into it? Are you against it? Do you not really? Are you sort of on the fence about it? I'm just going to go in with a blending brush, a clean blending brush, and just give that a little blendy blend. These are incredibly blendable. I mean, just look, literally, just a couple of swipes, you know, light handed swipes with this, and bang. It's beautiful. Okay, this side seems to have oxidized just a little bit here, um, and it is not like that on the other eye. It looks a little bit darker here than it does here. That's also because of the light that I'm using, but it. Hmm. Okay, let's try and darken the other crease up a little bit so it's not as odd there we go let's put a little bit more on that eye there we go and again I'm just going to blend it okay so I'm sorry for saying I say that all the time okay so or um um I say that a lot too which I'm sure probably gets rather annoying. Next I'm going to go in with Redonculus which is this lovely shimmer shade up here. I'm just going to get that on a flat packing brush once I've plucked out that random hair. I'm just going to get some of this on my brush and I'm just going to put this all across my lid. Oh that is magical. I, I honestly I'm in love with this palette absolutely in love and there is no fallout if you see shimmer on my cheeks that's because of the blusher that I'm wearing okay, so there we go there's that eye let's do the same on this one this is so pigmented Okay, so I'm going to go back in with my blending brush. 
and just gently gives that a little blend out not much but not little if that makes sense okay so well I am going to put the other light back there we go that's much better it's showing up a lot better now with the two lights okay um so the next shade that i'm gonna go in with is um this shade here which is called in one ear it's a lovely shimmer shade so i'm just gonna pick this up on my little flat packer brush again so pigmented I'm just gonna give that a little tap and i'm gonna put this on the outer corner of my eye some proper shape going and then just on the outer corner of this eye as well as you can see guys these shadows are the bomb they are amazing okay so it's a little bit darker on this one so I'm just gonna Put a little bit extra on there and then again i'm just gonna blend this in as you can see it needs the slightest bit of blending not much at all Okay guys, so as you can see, this is really, really pretty. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit more of this just on the centre of my eye. Just here. Um, and then I'm going to get some on my brush again and I'm going to put it on this half of my eye as well. Carry it all the way up into my crease but avoiding my eyelid so basically just sort of outlining my eye there we go just giving some shape to my eye outlining it and then putting it just there in the inner corner okay so I'm liking that so far. I think that's quite pretty. Oh, I've got a little bit on my face. I'm really liking this. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this. This is the only semi-matte. This is these are like shimmers, you know, like really, really shimmer shimmers. This is just a little bit sparkly, but still quite matte, if that makes sense. Um, and Laura, on her launch video, she does explain that it's sort of a semi-matte. So I'm just going to get this little brush, just pick up a bit of the product, not too, too much. Tap that off, and I'm just going to put it a little bit on the outer corner just to darken that up so just a little bit right there this has got a little bit of fallout nothing major but yeah just a little bit of fallout so there we go that's there on this one okay so Mm, that's not quite dark enough. I'm going to take just the tiniest little bit of Oddball, which is the black. There we go, that's a bit better. There we go. Just a little bit darker on the outside then. There we go, I think that, that looks a lot better. And just drag it across. Just so that it doesn't look stupid. And there we go next I'm gonna do the underneath of my eye so I'm gonna start off by taking a uh, kooky so it just gets a good amount of that on my brush
and then I'm just going to put this underneath my mesh line. And drag it all the way in. I'm just going to get a bit of a smaller brush now. And just blend this. Oh, I poked myself in the eye. Oh, my leg's gone dead. Ouch. Dead leg. Oh, stretch it out. Oh, it's horrible. It's literally completely numb. I hate that. Okay, so again, kooky. Oh, dear me. Sorry about all the fidgeting peeps. There we go, so I've got kooky on the underneath of my eye. Just going to drag it down a little bit more. The same on the other eye. Okay, so I am happy with that. I'm not actually going to put any other colours on the underneath of my eye. What I am going to do is I'm going to go back in with Redonculus and I'm just going to touch up the gold that was, um, that's obviously on my eye but not as prevalent now that I've done some blending out. So I'm going to take this again and I'm just going to pat it, really pat it on. So just pat that on my lid and the same on the other eye. Get right the way down to my lashes. There we go. That looks much better. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I have got um, this, which is the Makeup Revolution um, Liquid Highlighter. This is in the shade um, Liquid Champagne. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit of that on my hand. And then I'm going to find a brush. Let's see. Okay, so no, this is too big. Too big, too big, too big. Right, this might look big, but it is uh, pointed at the end. So I'm just going to get some of this liquid champagne on there and just, I'm going to put that in the inner corner of my eye. I'm sorry that I opened my mouth, <laughs> uh, uh, big mouth, but um, loads of people do it when they do mascara. So let's just pop that right on the inner corner. Get rid of the bloody mascara flank. So that is gorgeous. <laughs> Can you hear my daughter in the background? Her and her dad are having a proper giggle up. Okay, so that's that, and then I'm just going to do the other side quickly. This is gorgeous. Absolutely love it. Okay, so let's tap that in. I hope this is showing up on camera. It looks lovely. And then I'm going to take this shade here, which is Scatterball, and I'm going to take it on um, a different brush. <clears throat> <clears throat> so I'm just going to tap that, get a little bit of that, and I'm going to put it just here on my eye. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to get Scatterbrain. Sorry, my partner just brought my food in. <laughs> um, and put it right on the inner corner. There we go. And then some more on this side. Oh, that's a little bit too bright there. There we go. Oh, that's it. Good. Come off straight off of my finger. Just blend some up into my eye. It looks lovely. 
<laughs> Next, I'm going to go onto my lips. Um, I'm going to be using this, which is oh, <clears throat> a fake Kylie um, Kylie Jenner liquid lipstick. This is from the Summer Vacation, and this is the shade Moon. Please do excuse me because I am not the best at putting on um, liquid lipsticks or any sort of lipstick really. But here we go. This smells really strongly of vanilla. So as you can see, it's beautiful colour. Really is pretty. This um it really does feel like it's not a fake. What I mean by that is I don't have any real Kylie lipsticks, but this feels lightweight. It doesn't smell of chemicals. It doesn't feel too drying. It doesn't feel too thick. It literally is amazing. Bye. She's one and a half and she's obsessed with saying bye at the moment. Okay, so there we go. That is it. I'll just give you a little bit of a closer, closer up look. We're going in for a scary close up. So, let's take the light with me. This is the makeup, the lipstick. I am so happy with this eyeshadow palette. I give this eyeshadow palette without hesitation a 10 out of 10. Um, for £6.99, it is amazing. It's it's beyond amazing. You know, um, I haven't got the real one. I don't know what the real one feels like, performs like, but just this, this is just something that I love because it's it's buildable so, you know you can build it slowly but the shimmers are amazing they they blend easy they're just as I said you know 10 out of 10 um so that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it if you did give me a thumbs up because I want I would like to start earning money <laughs> on YouTube um yeah so um also i am going to be doing a giveaway very soon so make sure that you're subscribed and keep your eye out for that um and also i do have a second channel my second channel is uh, many things but it's about mental health problems and things like that um and i'm going to be doing sort of like agony aunt videos so if you do have advice that you want about mental health or questions or something like that then just um, go to that channel um, and my email address will actually I'll put my email address in the description box below and just send me a um, an email with your question or your your moan it's you know um, and just put at the top dear Moni Tony Okay, all right, sorry guys for rambling. I waited until the end to do it because I can't stand it when people do all of that crap at the beginning. It's like, shut up and get on with the video. But now we're at the end, you can skip if you don't want to hear it. Okay, so yeah, thanks for watching. Definitely buy this palette. It is, it's 
amazing i've said it a thousand times i will leave a link for it in the description box and i will see you all guys soon i do have other um fake palettes we've got some juvia's place palettes i've got some uh anastasia beverly hills uh, subculture and the modern renaissance palettes so i'll be doing those soon okay guys toodles <laughs>